Aya, kweri baba. Yeah. We're leaving Cherongani, Velos. Monday the 22nd and we're going to Mount Elgon and do a hike and we have Zuri with us, he's in the back. I wanted to do a lot of hikes on this trip and well we have to spend a week getting acclimated and visiting family and I'm sure it helped that we've spent several days at this elevation already so we're more used to it. And we got sick already and... Yeah, we've already been sick, we're mostly recovered from that. But we got all the initial travel things out of the way and now we get to start doing what we're really here to do. Have a lot of fun, have a lot of cool experiences, and share those experiences with you all. I'll see you when we get there. Straddling the border of Kenya and Uganda, Mount Elgon National Park is a 500 square mile area named after the inactive volcano inside. We're at Mount Elgon National Park, and we just checked in. And we are getting ready to go in and take a guided hike. With our guide here. Masai Bufis, welcome to Mount Elgon. Mount Elgon is one of the key water catchment that we have in the country. In total, we have 16 rivers that emigrate from this ecosystem. 14 of them feed Lake Victoria. It's only two that goes astray. We have one called Swamp the boundary between Kenya and Uganda that goes all the way to Takwell, generate power there, and then it extends to Lake Turkana. So meaning we have a lot of people who depend Mount Elgon here uh -huh. indirectly because of the availability of water. We are going on Endebes Bluff Trail. This is Endebes Bluff Trail. We're gonna hike for 1.1 kilometers and we're gonna go all the way up there. So we're just getting ready right now to leave. Mount Elgon ecosystem is subdivided into three sections. Number one, we have the national park where we are here under the Kenya Wildlife Service. And then number two, uh -huh. we have the game reserve under the county government. So in a game reserve, government normally allows the dwellers, the communities who live nearby there, we call them the robots. So they graze the domestic animal. And then number three, we have the forest. We just went like a really small <laughs> hill. We just started this hike and we're already exhausted. Yeah. Because we didn't train as much as we wanted to before we came. So this is we're not really here. in hiking shape. We're, we're kind of doing on the spot training. Ooh. Okay, but well you did good going up with like 20 pounds. This is not 20 pounds. More than 20 pounds. We just had to keep, like we just go for a couple steps and then we stop, because... Yeah, we are doing frequent breaks, because we are... We want to make sure we make it to the top of the mountain. You think almost. we've gone a third of a kilometer? Almost. Almost. almost a third. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Finally made it to the top of the mountain and right now Aitan's taking pictures of our car that's all the way down there so this was not easy but we finally made it and you and you good job Aitan and we finally made it down back to the car. Oh, oh God, I'm so scared. We were all the way up there on the mountain, right up there. We 
We're finally down here. I need some water. I guess. You did your first hike with us. Good job. God, he's so happy. Oh my gosh. We're finally back at the gate of Mount Elgon National Park and it was a really challenging hike but like I said before we finally made it to the end and we say thank you to Boniface we don't know what's gonna be our next hike but see you on our next hike see you on the next one exhausted but extremely satisfied from a full morning of hiking we made our way back to Kitale town to go get some groceries. Hello! Thank you for experiencing this exciting adventure with us. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the next one.